You're going backwards. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the YouTube channel, everybody. We are in the barn today with some teenage boys getting a little bullying done today. 10 calorie echo bike, 10 burpees. Basically, you go, I go, but they have three people. So um, they're getting about two to one rest. Maris is working on an EMOM right now, benching and pull-ups. I'm gonna get warmed up. I'm starting with bike, ring muscle up, and sandbag clean workout. So it should be pretty fun. Also gonna be recording for Rhett's YouTube channel today. So I'm gonna put his channel link down below in the description. So if you haven't seen his channel, he does a lot of gaming stuff over there, but also just like funny videos with his buddies. So go check that out. And uh, if you want to stay here for a little bit, you can watch him suffer through some burpees. So fucking tired. <laughs> <laughs> Actually going through hell right now. Because we don't know what we're doing, especially this guy. All right, let's get those burpees done. Come on. Come on. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Come on. I didn't fucking start. <laughs> Is it starting now? Yeah. Okay. We got Rhett popping in and out of camera right now, doing his burpees. This is his last set. They wanted to come in and lift today, but obviously the buy-in when you're working out here is to do something that sucks first. So I'm gonna let them do whatever they want. They're probably gonna bench while I do my first piece, and then we might all deadlift together if they're still in for that. Hey, get him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Thanks, buddy. Oh, shit. All right, just finished up that workout. Um, is a, the sets were a little faster than I thought, um, but I like I thought every five minutes was going to be kind of aggressive but it ended up being somewhat of an easy pace. But since you're getting a little bit more rest, I just pushed the pace on them a little bit faster, try to keep the transitions up, keep the sandbag cleans moving pretty quick. All the ring muscle ups were unbroken, obviously. Now we're about to get into some deadlifting. So I might build to like a moderate double, and then I'm just gonna take these guys through kind of some pointers to see what their weight is moving like, what it looks like, and hopefully have a little bit of fun. He's actually probably gonna He's show us, gonna like show us how to do everything because we're stupid. And yeah, deadlifts. Glad we sneaky. Oh, right. Starting to feel better after your I go back and burpee workout. That was fun. Nice. Good. Arm straight. Remember, I need to figure out OBS. And I forgot to email you the fuck. And arms straight. Mm -hmm. If you're here, then you have to pull up your arms. Your arms are a lot weaker than your legs. So keep your arms straight so you can use your legs. Back flat, use your legs. Good. Good, one more. Bang as mini. 
pagi mini pagi mini All right, I gotta take these fellas home, so that's gonna be it for this session. We're gonna come back here for session two later. I'll just come by myself. I will see you guys for session two for another Metcon and a little bit of accessory. All right, back for session two. We're gonna hit just a quick Metcon and then need to do some L-sit accessory. Uh, we're gonna be doing L-sits in a workout at Charlotte. We don't know the workout. Same kind of teaser video we talked about in the last video. Uh, there was also L sits in that one. So need to make sure I get better at those because I'm terrible at them right now. So we'll probably finish up with an EMOM of those just pretty quick before we go hit the track. But like I said, Metcon first, we're gonna go every four minutes just for four sets, 30 GHDs, 15 thrusters at 115, and then three legless rope climbs. You actually might be able to get a decent amount of rest, but it's probably gonna be less than one to one. So pretty much all we need to set up is the thruster bar Everything else should be good to go. Don't need too much warming up since this is the second session of the day. But yeah, we'll go ahead and get into it. All right, I wouldn't say this is low volume at all, but it's not a ton and only four sets. So I'm gonna try to push the pace in the sets, uh, keep the thrusters unbroken, probably go a little faster on the legless than I want to. took longer than I thought and it was harder than I thought it was gonna be. Got a little soft and broke the thrusters in round two. It's kind of just like a lapse of judgment. Um, one of those times, it happens to me sometimes, I don't know if it happens to everybody, but you're just like fully set on like just going into the next rep and then you blink and the bars on the ground and you broke it up. It happens to me on wall balls and thrusters more than anything. Those are kind of big chunks for 115, especially right after GHDs. So obviously I would have liked to go unbroken, that was the plan, but I'm sort of okay with that. Still got some good practice in, and I'm glad I didn't just break at the end. Uh, I would have been a little more upset if I broke the fourth set or maybe like the third and fourth set, but I broke the second one and then I was like, I'm not doing that again, stayed unbroken. So it's okay. I was gonna finish up with an LSIT EMOM, but I've been doing EMOMs uh, for those to get better at them for the last couple weeks. So I think I might just try to build up to like two minutes as fast as I can, like uh, accumulate two minutes, um, which shouldn't take too long. It'll take longer than, it'll take longer than it should take, but uh, still in the grand scheme of things, it won't take too long. And then we can head out, go to the track and finish up this video. Just squeeze out 30 seconds. Oof. One minute. Uh, ah. Fuck. 120. Mm. Ah. I want to call that 130, but that was 129. Ah. All right. 140. I can do it in two more. Oh, this is taking forever. Come on. 
Oh, those suck. All right, guys. I was actually pretty surprised with how long the first minute took me. That was a little quicker than I thought I could do it. But probably because it was a little quicker than I thought I could do it, the second half took way too long. But we're going to head to the track now, do a three by one mile, five minute rest between, try to keep the splits pretty fast. Um, really just sub six, especially at the end of today, after all those thrusters, I know that my legs are going to feel heavy. So I'm more worried about the effort, the RPE on those today than the actual outcome. But I do have a general idea of where the outcome should be, even if I am pretty tired. All right, those were some pretty hard runs. Uh, turns out running after a bunch of thrusters and GHGs is pretty hard. I smoked the legs pretty good today, so that's not too surprising, or it shouldn't have been too surprising. It did surprise me a little bit. Saturdays, like today, are usually my track days, but I might start coming and doing my track session in the morning. I feel like I can usually hit the intended stimulus of a Metcon no matter what, um, in terms of like fatigue from running. Obviously, uh, those paces were a little bit slower than I wanted them to be today because of some leg fatigue. So, I think it might be worth it to get the running done first, make sure we get the desired stimulus out of that. Plus, coming up at Charlotte, we do have that trail run and it is event one. It's gonna be the first event of the weekend. It's not just running, but it is probably gonna be a lot of running. So, I'm excited for that. And I'm excited to start getting used to some mileage again. I have been running during the week, like just running intervals on the air runner or running Metcons with other movements, which all should translate pretty well to that event one at Charlotte. But Saturday is pretty much the only day I can get out here on the track and get some actual ground running. And I would say the air runner definitely translates to ground running, but there's nothing better for ground running than just ground running. So keep coming out here on Saturdays. Like I said, might start coming in the morning, but that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, or if you have any ideas about future videos, leave some comments down below, leave a like. Hopefully should have the next video coming out around Wednesday or Thursday this coming week, and I will see you guys then.